Oh, is it? Okay, good, it's recording. I waved, and then I couldn't tell that it was recording or not. Hi, everyone, it's Coffee Stitcher, drinking a Dr. Pepper today. Um, mostly because my milk was bad, and eh, I don't really like drinking coffee without milk. It's funny, lately I haven't been drinking as much milk as I was there for a while. I really need to get back into that habit. But we've been eating out a lot more, so... Eh, straw. Nah. Ah, mm. So how are y'all? Awesome. Awesome. Well, happy December, everybody. Um... I hope everyone's is off to a good start. Mine's been... Pretty good. Um, I had a lot happen this week, stitch-wise. Um, so I guess we're just going to dive right on in. We've got a little bit of Q&A. We've got haul. A little bit, not a lot. Um, we've got whip updates slash finishes. A new start. Uh, we've got the Stitchy Box Advent Calendar. So you're going to see a live opening. Um, yeah, so there's a lot going on. All right, so um, let's get right down to it with the Q&A. Um, Lauren Laney asks about the the wedding. The um, Well, the ring, this is the, we're using the engagement. The wedding is the ring is the same thing. We did just do sort of a very fast, just not just the piece. We had a friend who's ordained, performed the ceremony. Um, about two weeks ago, um, s just so that we could get it in by the end of the year so we could get file our taxes and hopefully get a slightly bigger tax return that we could use to help pay for the honeymoon. Um, so not really a lot of details. It was just us and our parents. So, um, the big one is going to be in March, uh, March 12th. Um, that's going to be the big ceremony. I, it's a Sunday, so I will not be recording that day. Probably will not have a video the following week either, because we're going to go to Disney World on our honeymoon, so I'm not... I'm going to bring stitching, so I have something to do on the plane, going and coming. But honestly, I really don't expect anything else is going to get done. So there's really... And I'm not going to have any haul, because I just probably won't. So, um... That week, there so there's going to be two weeks in March where there just won't be anything from me. Um, but I'll remind y'all when it gets closer, too. So, and we still haven't finalized a lot of details other than where it's going to be. Um, all right. Live for your stat... Live for your stat... Who? Live for your stitch. Says, love the ornaments on the tree. I'd love to have a tree full of cross stitch. I would too, actually. And I have a feeling that's how that tree is going to go next year with the Alice in Wonderland ones added. Um, and then she asked, am I still working on the Clouds Factory postcards? I am not. And actually, it's funny because I pulled it out and looked at it yesterday. I really was not enjoying the wild, wacky colors as much as I did at the very beginning. And... There were things they did that I just didn't like overall, and I kind of lost steam on it, so I've put it away for now. I don't know if I'll ever go back to it, um, because I'm just not in love with the piece as a whole. Um, the, uh, which will come up in a, again in a moment with my Stitch Long plans. Um, Sally Morris asked, do I have a link to the Alice in Wonderland Stitching Facebook group? Uh, I will try to get that added to, um, to this one. If not, the name of the group, as I throw things, I like to throw stuff. Sometimes I'm just angsty when I don't need to be. Um, but the name of the group is ain't sure I pulled the right one. Alice in Wonderland Sal S A L. Um so there you go. Um Alice in Wonderland Sal. Um, Kate Lou, I'm guessing it's Lou, but it might be Lau. 
Um... Uh, the I'm not surprised you didn't know there was more than just the Wizard of Oz in the series, and that's actually possibly going to be something I'll start next year. Uh, the uh, mostly because they don't ever really dramatize anything past Wizard, so I'm not surprised you didn't. A lot of people don't, so don't don't feel feel bad. Um, and I love that you called my our whips stories because, in some ways, they kind of are. They're stories of our own cross stitch journeys. I'm still wearing my pajamas. I just realized. Sorry, y'all. Um, uh, Park Search Farm. I don't know if you will see this immediately or not. The Unicorn Tail Silk Floss I got through Fabrics by LJ's group, so I don't know if there's actually a web. Uh, if they have a place for them yet, I feel like he was opening an Etsy store, but it, don't hold me to that. But definitely, I got it through Fabrics by LJ. Um, let's see, Candy Holbert. Um, I haven't worked at Starbucks for well over a year now. Um, um, Kelly Bell, the, yes, my back does feel better. Thank you to everyone who, who said that, um, or who made comments. Yes, it's better. I had a pulled muscle. So sitting basically upright all day Sunday helped a lot. Um, my desk at work, the chair kind of forces me to sit upright. So that really helped. Um, And I'm glad that I made you interested in the Oz books. You should definitely check them out. Uh, uh, Karen Honey uh, asks where she can find the new Sal's on the websites for the different people. So, like, Frosted Pumpkin, Cloud Factory, they'll announce them there. Um... Uh, Lori before asks how Remy is doing with the Christmas decorations. He honestly hasn't noticed them, I don't think. He's actually pretty good not to, de like, destroy things. Um, which is a very good thing. Um... All right. I think that is all of the Q&A. Um, ole. Um, I don't know what that was. All right. So... I guess we'll do go ahead and do the little bit of haul that came in. I did win Julie Cannell's uh, contest. Um, for, or one of her giveaways in Nifty Neil Landy's, and it delivered to my parents' house. So I have not gotten it yet. Um, but I will, eventually. Um, alright, so... Let's see. So we've had three days of Stitchy Box Advent Calendar. The first day was a cut of Valor, 28 Count Lugana by Picture This Plus, and it's a little more green than it's picking up here. Um... And it's welcome, it says, Welcome to our Christmas Advent 2016 box. So to start us off, I picked this lovely piece of Lugana from Picture This Plus. This fabric is used in a chart in this shipment. So, that's coming up. Day two, and I think I lost the little insert for it. 
um, is also used in the chart. It was some blue spruce wool by Gentle Arts. So, and uh, you'll see this, well, you saw it last week, too. I used this in, a, uh, in Magical Creatures. So, I really love working with the wools. Um, wool, for those who haven't used it, um, wool can add really nice textures. You'll see it here in Magical Creatures in a few moments. Um, I've used it for hair. It makes great hair. Um, it's great for, like, grassy fields. It, it gives a really nice texture. Um, I'm gonna use some of it next year in Pumpkin Passport in Russia for her, um, her outfit, if I can find a pink wool. So, wool has a lot of really good uses. It's really easy to work with. It's usually single ply, about like that. Um, and it gives great coverage. It just, I, I really like working with it. So I highly recommend it to those who have not yet. And then day three is Burgundy Gallon Lace. Isn't this beautiful? Um, for some reason, Christmas always included fancy lace in my mind. I think it goes to the towers of wrapping ribbon and lace my mother pulled out each year to wrap presents. Your package includes approximately one foot of lace. So, I think it's pretty. And I want to wear it on my head. Like this. See? I'm weird. Okay. Alright, so there's that. Alright. So there we go. That's the little tiny bit of haul this week. All right, so let's go into finishes. I have had 25, about to be 26 finishes, because I was looking through my, my whips, and I decided that Circle of Friends by Jeanette Douglas, every time I look at it, I don't ever want to do the, um, the border around it. I just don't. I don't know why. I just, I... Never really appeals to me, but this will fit into a little hoop. So I've got to add a couple of beads, a button, and a charm, and then that'll be done. So I'm going to do that. It'll probably take me 30 minutes, and then bam, 26 finishes. Booyah! Woo! Because we'll get to the other finishes in a moment. Um, I'm very excited to have had 26 finishes. Technically, it's if you didn't count the Oz ornaments individually, it would not be anywhere near that. But I'm counting them. So that'll be a surprise. That will that was an unplanned finish. That means I'll have had three finishes this week. Um, so we'll go smallest to largest, I guess. Um, in terms of smaller scale finish, I did finish Let's Go on an Adventure. Ta-da! Oh, let's lift you up a little bit so you can see it. There you go. Um, this is for Pumpkin Passport next year, so I'm all ready to start on January 1st. Um, Ginger Gerald Stitcher and I are doing it together, and he's on YouTube now. He's pretty awesome. So yay, go more dude floss tubers. Um, so you should totally go check him out. Um, we're going to be doing this as a stitch along together. If anyone wants to join us who didn't do it last year or wasn't caught up, please feel free. We're not creating a group. There's nothing official. It's just we're kind of working on it. So let's go on an adventure. I did, obviously, I changed the adventure to a red. Um, and I used, actually, Cayenne from Weeks Dye Works. I started with red, the signature red from Fabrics by LJ, but it was a little too variegated. It's gorgeous, but it was a little too variegated, so it didn't fit the same sort of value scale that the navy had. So I switched to cayenne, which I think worked better. So I got that done. So that comes back from being my work project. We'll go into my next work projects shortly. So, but I'm all ready to start this come January 1st. Oh, 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 how did I forget? How did I forget to go over this? Oh my god. Okay, so, for those who haven't been paying attention, the ever-wonderful and fabulous Brooke Nolan has uh, released the first pattern in the Brooks Books 
Princess Dress Up Collection. And it's Cinderella. Ooh. And there it is. How gorgeous is this? Look at that. Look at that. It's it's just stunning. Um, I don't have anywhere near the color, have the stuff to start it, but I think I'm going to have to start it. I don't think I'm going to have an option. I think I have to start. So, oh, it's just so gorgeous. So, yeah. I do actually have, interestingly, I had one of the memory threads already, and I had one of the Crynix, but I only had a handful of the DMC and not enough of it to start. So, for now, not starting it. But I may have to end up starting them sooner than I was originally intending. Because it's gorgeous. And if the rest of the line is this good, oh my god. So if you haven't, go buy them. Because they're awesome. I love Brooke Nolan. Also, she's a real total sweetheart. Um, so she's got that going for her too. But I would love her even if she wasn't a sweetheart. But she is a sweetheart. Um... Anyhow, so back to the whips. Yeah. All right. So, let's see. The two big finishes now, and I'm not really sure which one's bigger than the other, so we're going to just go with this one. Uh, I finished National Parks. Ta do So there it is. Um... There was only one real change, per se, in this one. I had a counting error on that Joshua tree, so that park ranger um, got a slightly different hairstyle. Um, Alright, so... Um, it's done. We've got Marge, Mickey, Enoch, and Naomi. Um, oh, and I did, and you're not at all going to be able to see this, but it was messing with my eyes to not do it. But the path down here, those two squares there were actually just not filled in, but visually I needed to do it for my, my eyes. So while you can't see it at a distance, you probably never would have noticed, I was going to notice. So... I had a lot of fun doing this one. This is going to be Dad's 80th birthday present, so um, I'm going to take it with framers. I'm actually going to be at Stitch Niche on Saturday of next week. I don't know for how long I'll be there. I'll be there a little bit in the morning, so if anyone wants to drop in and say, hey, please feel free. Um, if I stare at you awkwardly, just say, I watch you on FlossTube or something. But if you just start talking to me, I'm probably just going to stare at you like I don't know who you are. Um... And you would be amazed how often that actually happens where people just start talking to me. So please, I'm all for meeting people. Just give me a frame of reference so that I'm not sitting there going, where did I meet you before? Why do I not know who you are? So just, you know, introducing is always a good thing. So there you go. Um, so I, I'm hopeful that he'll really love it. Um, or that if he doesn't, he at least lies. Because, you know, that's always a good second, too. If you don't like it, lie about it. Um, right. So that's done. And then I also finished Magical Creatures before December. But I finished it. That's what matters. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, oop. Need to... I mean, actually, I had to get a brand new needle at the last little bit because the other one was so tarnished it just quit going. It wouldn't let me thread it. It wouldn't let me thread it at all. Okay, so here is December with Bumble. Um, I didn't do anything under there, and I'll explain why in a moment. But there we go. I used all the wools for the trees. I used a DMC Ecru wool for Bumble. The blue is a Ship's Manor... Um, I used Neil Necessities on the snow. I used some Krynik for the rest of the snow. I took the wings off of the snowman because I thought it looked weird. So there we go. 
So it is all finished. Turquoise was what I used for. Because um, I had a lot of trouble finding a gemstone because it was just like blue topaz. I'm like, but that's almost the same color as what I did in March with aquamarine. So I kept searching and then I found turquoise can be sometimes the December birthstone. Which, if you were born in December and you like that tacky turquoise jewelry, awesome. Alright, so, here it is overall. And the reason I didn't do anything under the December, partially because at a distance you don't really need it, partially because my idea was that the gold is the warmer months because it's the sun, and the purple is the colder months. And it basically worked out pretty well that way, except down there in the little December, where you would have sun with the snow, and so I, that was why I didn't. But here it is overall. All done. So... I'll finish. Um, this was a lot of fun to work on. I really enjoyed this one. It is also of the three Clouds Factory stitch alongs that I've started, the only one I've finished. <laughs> so, even though I do like the idea behind this year's theme, which is Fabulous Women in History, and it's going to be two women for every month, and as excited as I am for the fact it's convinced my best friend to start stitching. I will not be doing it. Um, I'm going to stand pretty steadfastly in that I probably, it's going to have to be one that I'm going to have to wait and see it in completion before I do it. Um, simply because I have yet to, f this is the only one that I have finished, and there's two of them that I've started and never finished, and financially it's not worth that investment for me. Um, because the stitch longs are an investment. Um, I don't feel any guilt in not finishing them. Um, but they are an investment, and since I'm trying to do Stitch from Stash, I would rather put the money that I might spend on that kit towards something that I actually do really love. Um, so that's why I will not be doing that one this year. Um, so, um, okay, so one of the things that I'm doing... We'll do some 2017 plan discussion. One of the things that I've kind of decided to do is I've got my monthly goals, but a lot of the things I started in Mania, I started because I just wanted to participate in Mania. So a lot of them are things that I started, and I like the project, but I have no desire to work on them right now. So one of the things I'm going to try and do is balance the balance how I start and finish things. So my I'm going to do Sarah Sarah Marie Shears does this beautiful or not beautiful does this great thing where she says I get three finishes and then I can start something new. So that's kind of what I'm working with. Um, because I've gotten I've finished three fa things, so let's add new things. So since I finished Glinda, and I finished um, National Parks, and I finished uh, Magical Creatures, and I'm about to finish Jeanette Douglas, I have a new start. And that's kind of how I'm going to try and sort of balance things. Um... So, we'll see how I do with that. Um, so, up still to work this month, I've got the next Night Before Christmas motif, um, which I will probably start in the next day or two. I'm working on that with Erin, um, but she needed to finish Pumpkin Passport first, so I think she'll probably finish that day or tomorrow, so we will start on that. Um... So and we're just going to do the bottom little motif that says the night before Christmas and probably the snowflakes around it. Um, so then we've got Storytime and Octopus Garden um, and Longfellow. Longfellow, my goal is still going to be just the page finish. Uh, so then we've got the work projects. Well, the first thing I'm going to do at work is I'm going to take, since I decided not to do them, after all, 
I need to take up, um, get Kraken and Frog It, as well as uh, what I started on Diane Williams. So I need to do that. Then, what I'm going to work on next at work is Paradise Lost. And what I will be doing is separating those first. I'm going to work on because I'm going this direction. I'm going to work on the banner and the cloud. So once the banner and the cloud are done, I'll pro I will bring it home and work on it in the regular sort of rotation thing. Do I have a needle? Yes, I do. Okay. It occurred to me I need to make sure I've got a needle in there. So that's, uh, that's the current plans for work. Um, but first I'm going to frog out those because that's something I can easily do at lunch on my or at my work at work on my lunch break. So now it's time for the new start. Eee. And this is a little bit of a jump on next year because I really do want to get as many of these done as I can. So I started and this is on 28 count raspberry light hand dyed uh even weave, I think it's Lugana from Witchelt. So there's my start on the Soda Stitch Snow White. So I'm working on Snow White, and then I've got the hand for the Evil Queen because that was the closest thing to the middle, and then that let me count over from there. So I'm doing it with the Called for DMC. Um, the only real change I may have to make is this pink here is a little close to the fabric. So if I ha if that's not going to work, then I'm going to replace the pink there. I'll probably do them in purple. Um, because to me that makes the most sense would be to do them in purple. So, because that's the closest color value to it. So there we go. So my goal, I'm going to work on it until I get Snow White done, and then I will probably rotate to something else. Um, or I may try and just get the middle done. We'll see. Uh, like I said, a little bit of it is going to depend on when Aaron is ready to do Night Before Christmas, because that really won't take very long. So there we go. Um, Alright, so... That's everything on that front. Um, okay. Uh, so now we're going to go on to our little Oz item. This month I decided to do what I call activities. Um, so these aren't paper dolls and they aren't coloring books. They're kind of in between. So, they're activity books. So the first one, I'm actually going to work backwards chronologically on this one, because some of the cooler ones were older. So this one is a sticker picture book. It's from 1996 by Kathy Balin. There's actually a small version of this, too, but unfortunately, it's I've got a section on that bookshelf that's about that thick of all really tiny, small size books. So it's just, I didn't want to have to go digging. So it came with a beautiful backdrop. So there's one half. There's the other half. It's just, you know, Munchkin Cottages, the Yellow Brick Road, Scary Forest, and then it comes with the stickers inside that have the Tornado and Glinda and the Emerald City and Dorothy and the Poppy Field and the Witch's Castle and all the different characters so that you can tell the story. Um... And they're peel and stick, so you can use them over and over and over again, which is kind of cool. So, and you've got the definite spots where you can set them all up, so you can just make one tableau. There's the friends on the Yellow Brick Road. So, it's really cute. 
Um, I've always liked it. Um, it's not as exciting as some of the later things that we're going to come to. So, there you go. Um, oh, we've got to do the Stitchy Box Advent opening. I almost forgot. So here's day four's little package. None of these look like they're tampons. This feels like beads. It is beads. They are two grams of a mix. Happy Holidays Seed Bead Blends. These Mayuki 11O seed beads are full of Christmas cheer. Your package contains approximately two grams. These beads are used in a chart in this shipment. So cute little Christmassy beads. So I will post my picture. Um, again, come on, people, let's use the hashtag Liz Westlake rocks my face off. Let's make that a thing. She's also got Liz Westlake is an evil genius, which I also support. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. Pardon me. So, yeah. Anyhow, that's it. Um, I hope everyone has a great week, and I will see you all later.